Hello, my name is Ted with Peter's Marine Service. Today we're going to show you a 2008 Sea Ray 210 Select. This is really a unique boat and I can tell you from personal experience, uh, we had a model like this in 07 in the local lake last summer to use and it really worked out great for me and my family. A couple things that we liked about it was the large swim platform. And what's nice about that is with the kids, they can jump on and off the back without having to worry about the outdrive. Now here in the showroom, the outdrive's all the way up so it can sit nicely inside here, but in the water, the drive's all the way down and nice big area, nice good grip. The kids could jump in and out and we felt secure inside the boat. What's nice is too, your swim ladder is tucked completely underneath here. You don't have the ladder fangs hanging out the back here. This whole thing sits inside here comes out and drops all the way down. What I liked about it, when in the water, you didn't have to put your knees up to your chin to get on the ladder. Uh, it was, went very deep in the water, nice large pads here so your feet feel nice on here, but it's nice and easy to hop then up inside the boat. And again, you can see here the depth of the swim platform, nice staging area for water sports or if you're just hanging out uh, with the anchor in the middle of the lake somewhere. Uh, nice area back here. A couple of unique things about the boat, the walkthrough. This actually is your sun pad that fits down inside here. You can use it as a full sun pad or if you don't want to step on those cushions, you can walk right through the back of the boat. Nice feature inside here. What's nice about this whole setup also is a very unique feature where what we can do here is you can either lay in the back of the boat or this whole seat here comes up. It was a great sun lounger. This is pretty cool out on the water. While you're just kind of floating and swimming around, you have plenty of room out here. Heck, we ate our picnic lunch back here and everything. It was really a nice place to kind of hang out. And plus you get extra storage in here also, which I'll show you once we get inside the boat. Once inside the boat, we have a spacious cockpit inside here. Two bucket seats that swivel all the way around plus the flip-up risers as well. These are really comfortable seats. These are new for 2008. And what's nice about them is they give you a lot of support underneath your legs. You can see how, how much depth you have here. The leg room is incredible inside. Plus you have the tilt steering wheel. You can make yourself very comfortable behind the helm. These seats do go back to give yourself a little bit more room as well. Dashboard, it's very automotive in its look. It's got the wood grain look. Uh, the, the taupe look to the whole thing, very distinct out on the water. Uh, your tweeters are located up here to get better sound when you're traveling. Speakers down inside the boat here, plus up in the bow. Toggle switches, plus you have uh, a toggle switch start, ignition switch. You don't have to turn the key, you just turn the button, flip, flip the switch and the engine starts. Throttle and everything is very comfortable. You can very easily see through the windshield even when the boat's underway. Or if you felt you need a little bit extra, the seat pops up. Now you can look up over the windshield as well. On this side over here, we have a glove box. Very spacious, you have a lot of room to put things. Your uh, AM FM CD is in there. You have a very large uh, 12 pack with lots of ice for a cooler could easily fit inside here. One thing I want to point out inside the boat is how everything is finished off. It's, it's very nice, very tight inside here. You have uh, storage inside here and on the bottom, everything all carpeted. But Sea Ray quality, every, the fit and finish is incredible. The way everything is so tight. Stainless steel grab handles throughout. Stainless steel cup holders inside here. One three-piece windshield. You don't have a mullion bar in the middle here, so your vision is really good throughout the whole inside of the boat. In here also, a bow block off door. What's nice about that is if it gets a little, gets a little uh, cool out on the water, what you can easily do is you can easily close everything off here, keep the breeze out of the rest of the boat, so you stay a little bit warmer when you're out on the lake. This particular boat's also equipped with the uh, 
Sirius Satellite Radio. Snap-in carpet is in the boat as well. And it's a Berber carpet, so it holds up real well to traffic and things. Plus, you have a lockable ski locker. Down inside here, I have the, extra, the canvas for the boat, the bow and cockpit cover. But this goes all the way forward, where you have plenty of skis, wakeboard, kneeboard, things like that could easily fit. And also, I want to point out how smooth everything is. It, this is a, a, it's, its own separate piece in the boat, so you get a nice finished feature inside here, as opposed to the rough fiberglass and found in most boats. But all these latches and everything are all stainless steel. In the back here, step inside, Ryan, I can show back here. Sure. We have extra storage back here underneath the seat. Plenty of room to put some stuff inside there. You can see it's all finished off. Little things inside here you can put uh, that you take out for the day, like towels and whatnot can easily fit there. In the engine compartment, Very unique feature, storage down inside here, but this whole compartment back here is where the batteries would go. But what's nice about this is if you put stuff in here, it's not laying on the batteries. The batteries have its own dedicated storage, but you can still throw stuff in there, i.e. your tubes or things. You can stuff them in there. Engine compartment, nice and deep. Uh, this boat features standard the fire extinguishing system. With the with this setup, you get the fire extinguishing system inside here. But everything's all finished off in the engine compartment, nice and clean. This stays up by itself, by the way. A couple of things I'll point out too back here: stainless steel hinges. I mean, look at the the quality that's there. And then more storage on this side as well, inside here. And again, we have the same feature there. bow area, what we have, plenty of room to sit up inside here. Everything's contoured so it fits real well. Got extra speakers up here, plus storage in the bow as well. Nice and finished off and clean. What's nice about this, these are hinged and they hinge the correct way. Other boats they hinge this way and then you can't reach anything down inside there. So that's a nice feature inside the boat. Also, what we have is your anchor storage located up in the bow. Even that stays up by itself. So if you're out in some rough water and the boat's going back and forth trying to get the anchor up, this thing's not closing on your fingers. It stays up by itself while you're doing all that. That's a 2008 Sea Ray 210 Select. If, um, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you very much.